Inside this package is a second hand roll off speed hub that I just bought off eBay. So I paid around £400 for it, which to be honest, probably a little too much because uh, I don't think it's in the best condition. But I'm hopeful that I can fix it up and I'll show you guys how I'm going to do that, hopefully. Let's get it out and take a look at it. Yeah, as I was saying, these are non-OEM axle plate screws that he's put in here. Uh, so let's get that amount. There should be five axle plate screws. He's got three non-OEM ones in there and I can see that they've drilled out I think two of the ax axle plate screws you can see here and here so the first challenge is going to be to get them out all right so the first job is going to be to get this external gear mech off so that I can get better access to these screws that have been drilled out so with any luck Okay, so there's a wee burr on the end of the screw that's stopping me pulling the gear mech off. So I'm just going to touch it with the with a 4mm drill bit on the pillow drill just to take that burr off that will then allow me to, to pull the mech off to get access to the, to the bolt to, to undo it. What I'm going to do Ah, oh, yeah, beauty There we go You can see now what the problem is These two bolts Look at this I've just realised that these aren't actually even seized in the hole. I can spin them with my fingers. Piece of cake. Same with the other one. Okay, so I've got it mounted up in the vise with the roll-off tool clamped. I'll just use a chain whip to undo the cassette cog. So here we go. There we go. That was just a small nip someone had given that before. Just going to take off these nylon drive pins before they go missing. I decided that I'm going to replace the seals and the bearings myself and I've made up this set of tools that's going to help me do that.
There are snap rings on the hubcap side, on both sides of the bearing, here and here. So to remove the, the bearing, I'm going to have to take those snap rings off. This is the tool I'm going to use to install the bearing. I machined this shoulder 4mm deep. Uh, the reason I've done that is so that when we press the bearing in, that shoulder will then sit up against the hub shell, which will mean that we can get the bearing set at the perfect depth. I took the snap rings out off camera. They were a bit of a bear to get out. time to press the hubcap back onto the gearbox. To help me press the hubcap onto the gearbox without damaging the bearing, I've made this tool and it's designed to sit on the inner race of the bearing and it'll allow me to press it on without putting any stress through the bearing and damaging it. I'm going to put the nine nylon drive pins in now. I'm going to put them in with a little bit of grease to hold them in place so they don't move. I'm going to install the gearbox into the hub shell now. I'm going to apply a little thread lock to these screws. That's a bit too much. Tightening torque for these is only three newton meters, so not very tight. Next, I'm going to install the new hub seals. I'll 
also clean the mating surface of the two seals as well. Alright, we'll put a little of this Loctite 641 on the baiting surface of the seals. Okay. And then that gets put onto the tool with the outside face down. Okay, I think that's it. Just undo that now. I'm going to install a grub screw in this hole on the axle. So the purpose of the grub screw I think is to help prevent oil leaking out of the hub. We can install the two pole springs now. They go in this hole and this hole, the non-threaded ones. So we'll just pop them in. Now we can put the first paper gasket on the axle. Line the holes up. You want to take your second paper gasket, pop it into the rebate, and install the external gear mech, making sure you align all the holes with the holes on the axle. Now we can install the small gear into the external gear mech and put a little bit of grease in here which helps prevent oil leaks and we can install the cog there we go so the last thing I'm gonna do is install the axle plate Tightening torque for these is 3 newton meters. Told the lie, the final thing I'm going to do is install a spline sprocket carrier.
And that's it. That's the end of that refurbishment. I'll flush the hub out with some roll-off cleaning fluid and then I'll put some roll-off oil into the hub off camera.